Excellency, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, after this very, very, very beautiful performance of Dana Dajani, uh, we welcome Elisabeth de Portsampart, the famous architect, Brazilian and French architect, but on, not only, you are also a sociologist and an artist. Yes, I start by art when I was a teenager and after sociology, and after, as well as um, make a, a critical work about uh, architecture and city planning, I prefer to do architecture to do best than to uh, do a criticism with sociology. And so, um, that's me. When, when did you... Re when did you realize the very, very important uh, social role of architecture? What th was that mm -hmm. crucial moment that you realized all this dimension? I think in, in, I was, uh, I have been inter interested in social issues uh, for in architecture since I was a teenager because I have the chance to meet uh, Serge Bernard de Zanini they were uh, pioneer, they had a, a pioneer work in uh, architecture. And um, as since the beginning of the 20th century with the modern movement in uh, architectural, uh, architectural uh, modern movement, uh, architecture has been totally disconnected from uh, climate, from the context, from the site. So uh, here, um, hear um, dialogues, listen uh, dialogues, uh, uh, very interesting uh, dialogues um, between my father and those uh, genius, architectural genius that were changing everything. Uh, it um, impressed me uh, a lot and I think uh, my interest for uh, social and uh, climate issues beginning to start in this moment. And uh, at, at what uh, point, at what stage of your, of your career you started really uh, being what you are now? I mean, I, I think that every, every artist and every creator, every author, uh, uh, there is a moment then that before uh, and after, there is a before and an after of that very, very specific moment. I, I don't know. I think in architecture, it is a, um, um, a constant progress, you see? You are always evol um, um, you evolve. uh, evolving uh, and um, learning, learning, uh, making um, experiments. And uh, so uh, it's a uh, work, uh, um, a whole life uh, work and a whole life of transformation and uh, evolution. Uh, how does uh, the evolution and, uh, of society uh, influence the evolution of architecture? Is it, or is it the contrary? Um, uh, it, it, it is um, complicated to, to say like that. We cannot uh, too much simplify it, but um, um, I think uh, that uh, there was a revolution, a modern movement in architecture with Le Corbusier and others uh, made a revolution. Uh, and um, this disconnection from the climate uh, in the beginning of the 20th century was uh, very impressive um, because uh, all the um, architecture were, um, became similar in all the world. And um, uh, uh, I understand that um, you are losing, losing uh, very important things and uh, um, the tradition, the, um, the identity of towns and the, the connection with people, with society. And uh, so um, in, uh, at this moment, I decided to be first sociologist and to work to establish those connections. And uh, later, I have to do it in my, on my own work. And uh, um, I start creating um, a sustainable um, studio on my office and to do a, um, some experimental, um, uh, use uh, experimental techniques, inventing experiments, 
And so some, someone were uh, well succeed, of course, they were experimental. Uh, others were not understood by clients because when you are architects, we depend uh, uh, um, of the clients, of course. But um, what it was very um, unusual 20 years ago, now it became some, um, um, my work is very well understood and I'm realizing many projects, uh, social and uh, environmental uh, uh, projects mm -hmm. where I can use those uh, experiments, finally. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this the renaissance that you have talked about? Uh, it is another phenomenon because I think that uh, all the arts, the visual arts and uh, architecture um, are showing the signs of the changing, of the transformation of our civilization. Uh, civilization. And uh, I was uh, observing that uh, there is uh, some architects in uh, Brazil, in Australia, in uh, uh, Germany, that were um, working differently and taking care of uh, climate, out of people, of social pro issues. And um, uh, I, I was convinced that we're living a real change of uh, period. And uh, um, it was by the observation of uh, the, uh, the transformation, the evolution in architecture that we could see that the, where we were living a real renaissance. And as, um, I made a conference in Paris. It was in 2016. The name was um, uh, The Rebirth of Our of Architecture and of Our Civilization. And some people were, uh, talked to me that we, uh, I was totally uh, optimist uh, and I was making prophecies, and so it's, it was funny. And now everybody's convinced that seven years later that we're, uh, we're, we, are, we are living a real transformation of our uh, society that is visible in architecture, and even it became some. Um, the, um, uh, the, official, the official direction in architecture and in art. You are seeing, also observing many changes and uh, you have some artists very engaged, uh, very committed in social issues and in climate issues also. It's very, very interesting well, this period that we're all living right, right now. So uh, you you don't agree with uh, other people that talk about crisis? For you, it's more the, uh, like uh, uh, the beginning of a new era in a positive way. Uh, yes, the beginning of a new year, but uh, um, I think uh, that this year, uh, a new period, can take uh, centuries. You see, we're starting a new period, a new vision, but. Uh, I don't think that it will be finished in 10 or 4 or 30 years. It is the beginning. And um, when um, you look at history, uh, all the transformations of civil civilization took uh, centuries and centuries. So, well, mm -hmm. we hope uh, that uh, in two, uh, two centuries, perhaps, <laughs> the, the world uh, will be changing. We won't be here, but <laughs> we are very happy <laughs> but, uh, hearing that. It's the theme of our, our debate, you know? Of course. It's future, the future. Of course, so. of course. Uh, let's go back to the crisis theme. Uh, is architecture um, uh, a, a factor of, uh, uh, of influence against crisis more than arts or not? Is it more tangible? Uh, of course, uh, in architecture, you can um, more tangible things, very concrete things, and in art, but um, art is also very powerful because um, with the freedom that um, uh, the um, artists can use uh, in their profession, in their um, practice, um, they can denounce and uh, they can f um, uh, uh, build the imaginary of people and 
before acting, before changing things, you have to dream, to dream that it, it can be possible. Hmm? And um, Dana was um, said three very important words. Uh, uh, it was freedom, um, um, risk, uh, and um, uh, the importance of uh, 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 life and uh, to change life. And I think that, uh, with art, we can work the imaginary of all the people, of, uh, and people can imagine that they can take risk to be more freedom and to change the life. And that's the power of art. And in architecture, you can do things, but you are limited by the, um, the, uh, the, the client, of course. You have limits. You can't do uh, everything while trying, but uh, it's very difficult to do, uh, to have this um, tremendous freedom that an artist has. And it is um, so the, their uh, roles. The rules are totally complementary, I think. Uh, the rules of artists and uh, architecture in um, the construction of the world. Uh, you have constructed uh, many museums. We're talking about art and architecture. Uh, would you like, of course you would, show us these museums? Yes. Uh -huh. Some of them. Mm -hmm. With pleasure. Uh, as, uh, I will start by this one. It is under construction, and it um, can illustrate very well um, an aspect of the new, of I call the new architecture, um, that the material that you use to build the project is not only the tangible materials as concrete or as uh, earth or um, uh, um, steel. The material is the landscape, the landscape, the culture, the local culture, the climate, the local climate. It is the real material. And of course, you can use other materials. Here, I'm using the, the raw, the, the raw uh, earth. And uh, it is, um, I think, and uh, the, those large bands, uh, the, their large strips, of uh, Earth are uh, um, climbing, and uh, uh, they, um, they shelter the real museum. They shelter the old vestiges of the first Chinese civilization. It was the pre-Qin Qin, pre -Qin civilization, before Qin civilization. And uh, it's very important to do archaeological museum. It is my 50 uh, archaeological museum because you are living this confrontation between the present, uh, the past, and the future, showing the old vestiges, the vestiges of the, the beginning of the humanity, and uh, after you are um, using techniques uh, for. Um, uh, that you, you know now, and um, making experimentations also of techniques for the future, as in this one, where you can see that uh, the importance of the, um, the landscape on the, the project. It is a site museum, uh, and this one is not a site museum. It was finished, um, finished um, five years ago. It is um, the Romanity Museum that uh, in the uh, Nîmes town. Nîmes, Nîmes. In France. France, yes. yes. In the south of France. It, it was the capital of the Roman Empire uh, 20 centuries before, 20 centuries ago. And uh, here, the confrontation with the future and the past was very, very interesting. And, uh, um, um, I was. Uh, I would like to show that contemporary architecture can be so strong, so um, um, impressive, and also 
I was um, making the Paris, how do you say Paris? Paris. Uh, I don't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it in Greek, bet. Yes. Well, well, I was trying to show that it's possible to build a building that will cross also tw in the next 20 centers, I hope. I won't be here to see. <laughs> but uh, all the techniques uh, were very sustainable. And uh, you are in a seismic um, place. so. And the future will show if I was right. But uh, I was opposing uh, to, um, it is a manifesto for contemporary architecture, facing a very old Roman Coliseum. Can, can we see the video? Excuse me? Can we see the yes, video? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. It is the terrace, a very Brazilian terrace on the roof of the museum. This is the video. No. Up. No. No. Okay. Yes. You have two minutes of peace. are very, very important and very rare. Tell me, Elizabeth, how do you proceed um, you know, in relationship with the genius Loki, the, the spirit of the place? Uh, how do you observe it? How do you listen to it? How do you study it? Um, it um you have to analyze, to, 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 to try to discover. It's very difficult here. We are uh, again in China. It's easier, of course, in Brazil or in, in France for me. But uh, when I, I build in China, here you are in Shanghai. Uh, I stayed, um, I spent a lot of time, many time in China, and I tried to discuss, to study the, the local problems. Here, it was easy, in, because it was a new neighborhood in Shanghai. It is Pudong, and it is a scientific center. It is um, a very strategic project for um, Ch uh, the China. It is a, a scientific um, uh, meeting hall, very, very huge. And uh, um, I understand that, that this place was very mineral and very, um, they didn't have, um, uh, all the equipment were very um, enclosed uh, to, uh, to, uh, with the town. And I tried to open the equipment, the building. It is a very, um, Important. There is uh, 120,000 meters, square meters, and 
I, I, I could uh, create a place on the ground floor, a public place, uh, protected, and uh, that will be used for events. It's free of um, functions, totally free, very huge on the ground floor, directly uh, um, in relation with uh, the town. And I created a, an urban park, uh, not only veg uh, very with plants, but with kiosks, pavilions, that uh, where you can do uh, must, uh, many things. There is uh, small shops and there is, uh, there, um, they create also exhibitions. And can so we see it? Can we, we see the other pictures? Because they're yes, very impressive. Course. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you are climbing on this um, um, park, urban park, and uh, even if the building was not uh, totally finished, People were uh, um, people in Shanghai were using this park to um, as a belvedere to see the town and to see the this neighborhood under construction. Now it's finished, but uh, the plants um, are better. <laughs> you see, it's more red, uh, green, and uh, the small pav pavilions uh, are already working. Um, it is in ceramic, totally in ceramic, the facade, and um, I love these stairs. And also, <laughs> those stairs were established with relations with uh, the ground floor, and people can go also to the park by the interior, by the exterior and the interior. In fact, you, you, you like to, to go up, you like verticality. Uh, I, I, have the, I, li I like the ascension of movement. Uh, as the life, uh, we are always in ascension movement. So uh, I, have to, I, I like to create those uh, ascension movement uh, to show that you are always, always um, um, transforming ourselves and transforming the world also. Can we see the, uh, the vertical villages? Uh, yes, uh, it is a library, very um, um, a bioclimatic library, a sciences humans library that I finished um, last year. But um, I only look uh, very quickly those images. Another Chambord stairs. It is a public equipment in France, in Paris. And uh, I only explained this idea. It's very important because uh, in the building. Uh, in, all, in all the terraces that uh, there is, uh, I create a huge terrace, we can create new rooms, uh, lecture rooms, if in the future, in the next 23, 40, and 100 years, you need to have more space. So the building contains its extensions for the future. Let's see the vertical villages. OK. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. They're very impressive, you'll see. Yes. They're under construction. Huh? I have three, three uh, vertical living, uh, three yes. vertical li um, v village in construction. It's a concept that I developed um, 10 years ago. It was very hard to convince my clients to do it. The first one is a very big one. It is a tower in Taiwan. And um, it is composed uh, by, um, um, we, uh, we start to pile uh, uh, people uh, under um, the others. And you have stairs to climb, um, climb to the last um, floor, to the roof. And each uh, fourth floor, you have um, a square where people can meet. So, so all the, the um, tower is conceived as a vertical village where uh, creating links between people, creating um, uh, events in the tower. So I'm creating living space, a very attract attract attractive living space. 
Well, it is uh, do, uh, those one different. I'm building them in France. One near Nice is Sophia Antipolis. It, it is the innovation center of Sophia Antipolis. That is a place for innovation. And the other, it's a mixture uh, program with uh, habitations uh, and offices and um, um, uh, many others, cultural activities and so on. And uh, you can see on the red lines, uh, the street are climbing on the buildings and all the functions are connected and we are connecting in the interior links between people because I think it's very important also to work in this direction to, to propose to create links uh, between people as it is very important also in art and some artists as Ernesto Neto who is also Brazilian from Brazil, uh, is also working in this direction. And um, he, he made a very important work uh, to create links between people also. It was an installation that he has done uh, in Sao Paulo. And um, I would like to, uh, for Ernesto to do something like that in my um, in a very important uh, uh, station, that um, train station that I'm building in France. But unfortunately, it, 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 it was not possible. But I think that uh, this kind of work that some artists are doing, doing and that architects are doing also to create links between people are very, very, very important because you are living uh, in, in a period where we are losing freedom, uh, uh, the, the notion of freedom. Uh, some years ago, uh, it was very important to be a, a free thinker, and uh, it was a value to be a free thinker, to be, um, um, to, um, to be free, and uh, now, uh, you are, it's uh, very um, many people are proud to be a follower, and I think uh, the, this, uh, those relations in the um, uh, the network uh, links are very dangerous because you are l losing our capacity of think to have to uh, being a, a free thinker and uh, create links in the architecture, in art. It's a very important theme. Thank you very much, Elizabeth, for uh, all these thoughts that you shared with us. Uh, and thank you for your question. <laughs> and as uh, frustration creates desire, we have to step down. Uh,